Welcome to our weekly intentions, where we take one word or one phrase every week, and we take that word and phrase with a specific goal in mind and apply it on our mat and off our mat to our daily lives. Enjoy the journey. This week's intention is goals. Goals is one of the most important factors that every high achiever has learned to implement in life. And if you want to be a high achiever, you have to learn to implement in your life. What we want to do is give you a set of uh, tools to understand how to achieve your goals, but more importantly, how to be able to create and set your goals in an actionable manner that actually can produce results for you. So what do we mean by goals? The first thing we have to do is we have to understand how to differentiate what a goal is, right? They're, the word gets thrown around a lot. Oh, I have goals. Well, have you written them down? If you haven't, then they're dreams, they're not goals. So first thing you have to identify is a goal has to be written down. And a very, very good way to understand how to achieve a goal is by looking at it every single morning when you wake up and looking at what you wrote down before you get to bed every single night. These are two very simple ways of understanding how to first differentiate the dif between a goal and a dream and how to understand how to take a very quick step into an actionable form to understand how to achieve those goals by looking at it first thing in the morning and last thing at night. Another avenue of goals that's very important is understanding how to properly structure those goals, right? We have different goals. We have daily goals, we have weekly goals, we have monthly goals, we have yearly goals. The way I like to set it up is I always have a five-year goal, I have a one-year goal, and then I have two-week two goals where I break everything down into micro bits, right? Because in the two weeks is really all you can control. The one year and the five year goal sometimes has to adapt and shift a little bit. Um, however, uh, as, as Steve Jobs, one of my favorite people used to say, you know, uh, successful people only have plan A. So always keep that in mind. If your goal is clear enough and your action steps are clear enough and your will and your discipline is strong enough, then you're only going to need plan A. So let's really focus on understanding what those goals are. And the more we're able to understand them at a micro level on a daily and weekly basis, then not only are we allowed to stay present mentally and physically because we're not focused on what's to come, but we're really focused on the present moment as to what is needed in order to achieve that goal. So the first way I like to break this down is I take the five-year goal first, right? That is your big goal in a sense. You know, in five years, who do you see yourself being, right, in that goal? What is it going to achieve? What is it going, what do you need in order to achieve that five-year goal? Then what we do is we work our way back into this equation, into that first goal, first year goal. Right? At the end of this year, what do you want to accomplish? And within those goals, you have to set what are they, right? Do you want to accomplish better relationships? Do you want to accomplish more finances? Do you want to accomplish, you know, uh, it, it, that, that's your playing field, right? That's your creativity. That's where you really can write down and jot down what you want to achieve. And then we break it down into two week increments right those two week increments are the most vital parts of goal setting because what they do is they hold you accountable and measurable in a short distance of time and when you understand how to turn on your frequency like we teach you with the training in Zen 57 how to increase that maximum efficiency in your training and in your mindset then that starts to trigger this response neurologically to have you get to your goals faster and get you to really respond to what you want to achieve faster and when you get into that zone, those two week increments really allow you to stay focused on what it is that you're looking to achieve. So first, have your five year, then understand what this year needs to look like in order to repeat itself five times to get to the five year, then break that down into two week increments in order to achieve your goals in those two weeks. And one really, really good tool to pay attention to in those two weeks is if in those two weeks you're asked to do something or you come up with something that is not helping you get closer to that one year and then to that five year goal, don't do it. That's a great way to kind of lean out your goal as you move forward, understanding how to 
make your time more efficient in order to be able to achieve those goals faster. So these are very, very important tools and components to pay attention to. And one of the things that I really wanted to talk to you guys about today was what are your goals, right? A really important part of goal setting is sharing it with somebody else. Sharing it with somebody who is not your best friend. Sharing it with somebody who's not going to just yes you and, 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 and give you a, oh, these are fantastic, but they really have no action plan in, in, set in place for you to achieve anything. So what I'm doing for you on my part is I'm going to take all of your goals that you send me in the description area below. You're going to get an email and look at that email and that email will show you where you can email them or you could simply comment below this video as well. Tell us your goals and I'll be sure to personally get back to you as to how to evaluate that goal and help you set it up for yourself moving in the future. So this week, as we take goals to our training, we really want to pay attention to what is our goal in these seven days? What is our daily goal as we take our training through these seven days, right? What do we want to accomplish every single day? What do we want to be held accountable for every single day? How are we going to take that goal-oriented mindset to stay completely present? One of my favorite quotes in all of all time is tomorrow is a mystery. Yesterday was history. Today is today. That's why it's called the present. So remember to stay present. Remember to write down your goals and remember to share them with us. Thank you for watching that video. If you enjoyed this type of content, please be sure to hit subscribe and like and stay tuned in for all of our weekly content, including live weekly classes that we will be uploading for you. Fist to palm, take a